Hampton High School football players. They are on the field at home today. This is for the first time since police arrested a teen they say brought a gun to a game last week. Today, fans, they were met with tighter security, which will now be the standard for all home games moving forward. Let's get right on that to CBS News Philadelphia Montgomery County reporter Kim Hudson. She is live in Abington. Kim. Howard Abington, they're on the field right now. Take a look behind me. They are playing Council Rock North. Kick up, kickoff was moved up to 11:30 this morning because of the incident from last week. This is the moment when school officials cleared the field last Saturday. This was just minutes after police arrested a Sheltonham High School student. Officers say they found a gun with a round in the chamber, two magazines, 30 more rounds, and a laser light on the weapon with that teen. That prompted the schedule change. The teams have been practicing since 10 this morning. The family started arriving around 10:15, and everyone found tighter security by the district and Abington police. What happened last week? I think that's great. I mean, obviously, most importantly is the safety of the kids. Also, the kids spend a lot of time working, practicing to actually play games. So, whatever is necessary for them to safely be able to play games it is fine with me. Absolutely. Abington School District said handheld metal detectors will be used. Students will need an Abington or Council Rock North School ID. No face coverings are allowed except for medical or religious reasons. No liquids, bottles, or large bags will be allowed, and there is no reentry no matter what time in the game. But the response will not end there. Abington police have a mentorship program. Officers are pulling together to help at risk teens and prevent gun violence. We'll have more on that on CBS News Philadelphia this afternoon. But for now, live in Abington, Kim Hudson, CBS News Philadelphia. All right, Kim, good to see they're finding a safe way to get these kids back on the field. Thank you so much.